Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about iPhones and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've gotten a lot recently. And that is how do you change the time zone in your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's really not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to change the time zone in your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're doing some traveling and you switch time zones, but your phone hasn't updated automatically. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's all handled here in the settings app. It's this gray gear wheel icon looking thing. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my settings app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my settings app. This is the drop down menu that you will see. Now, in order to change the time zone on your iPhone, you need to scroll down until you get to this line right here called general. Again, it has a gear icon next to it. Once you click there, in order to update the time zone on your iPhone, scroll down in this section until you see date and time. Okay. Once you click there, you will see the date and time settings for your iPhone. This is where you can go ahead and change the time zone. Now, if this button is green right here on this line set automatically, that means your iPhone is automatically going to use GPS to set your time zone wherever you might be. And it will show the time zone that you're in right here listed with the city. Now, if for some reason it's not updating or maybe it's not correct for some reason, you can turn this automatic setting for the time zone off. Now, once you do that, then you can go ahead and set the time time zone manually. So by default, it automatically populates in California, Cupertino, the city. So there's two ways you can do this. First, you can go ahead and choose a city that's near you by clicking on this Cupertino, the city. Okay. Once you've done that, then you can go ahead and type in a city that you might be traveling in. So let's just say Miami. Okay. Once you typed in the city, go ahead and just click on there and then it will automatically update the time zone right here. Now that's the first way. The second way is you can actually manually set it by clicking on these blue buttons, the date or the time. And then here down here on the bottom right, you can go ahead and click in there and then change the time as you see fit to your local time zone. And then you can also set the date because if you may have passed the international date line, this date may need to change. For me personally, I usually just leave it on set automatically. I haven't had any issues with it not updating, but if you happen to have had issues with the time zone not updating on your iPhone, leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know why that might be. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to update your time zone on your iPhone, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.